Welcome to Mosaic Arts Online. I'm Rachel Sager, and I will be your instructor for Intuitive Malmischiato. Intuitive Malmischiato is a technique that blends the mystery of classical Italian micro-mosaic making with the innovation and the of the contemporary mosaic movement of the here and now. One of the constraints built into the medium of mosaic has always been that the pieces of things, whether they be stone or glass or ceramic, are inert. Color mixing in our medium has been and is normally achieved within the composition by placement of tessera. This placement creates the illusion of color shading and color mixing to the eye. Malmischiato, which translates from the Italian to badly mixed or poorly mixed, it's a beautiful word, gives the artist the infinite power to mix color inside very small pieces of tessera. This mixing is achieved by changing the very nature of smalti through fire. So in this course, I will lead you through the steps of flame work, which simply means melting glass with a torch and a crucible. Um, I will help you get comfortable and confident with using your torch. You will learn how to intuitively pull the long threads to create your own filati and malmischiato. You'll be introduced to the tools of the trade, which are surprisingly simple, and you will learn how to create your own personal filati color library. In this course, I will also show you how to cut all the beautiful threads down and set them into some small sample mosaics using epoxy sculpt. If you don't have access to a torch, this can still be a great introduction to working with purchased filati, and I will share with you how to cut, lay, and create micro mosaic with epoxy sculpt. In the next section is a PDF with the suggested tools, materials, and resources to achieve this project. So let's get started. <laughs> Rachel, welcome back for I'm not even sure how many courses anymore, but we are so thrilled to have you here for Intuitive Malmischiato. Nice pronunciation. Thank you. <laughs> it took a few tries, but it will for everybody. But on that note, really, tell me how you did come about to this Malmischiato, Intuitive Malmischiato. Mm -hmm. It was a, a long and winding road. I bet. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I, I inherited a beautiful Italian uh, mosaic studio um, after an, a, an old Italian artist uh, in Pittsburgh. Uh, he was a, a, an immigrant as a young man and his name was Virgil Cantini and he really made a name for himself in Pittsburgh and I, I kind of came into um, a lot of his beautiful smalty and gold and filati. Wow. This was back in tw mm, 2000. 13 or something. Wow. I didn't really even understand what Filati was at the time. Mm -hmm. And I had this beautiful wooden box of this vintage a lot. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of, of the threads of Filati. And I just sat there, you know, I was working with stone and yeah. smalty and, you know, all the things that I understood how to use. And along comes my good friend, Sophie Druin. Sophie, Sophie Druin. Druin, who has more knowledge of mosaic <laughs> in her little pinky than most um, artists have in their whole body. So right. Sophie is a troublemaker. <laughs> I mean that ways. in all the right ways, yes. yes. But she she saw this stash of filati that I had, and she'd already been experimenting with it herself. Uh, she learns things very quickly. She gave me a few lessons, um, and it was it was immediate. The fire. Um, I think that I know that there is. We have a primordial attraction to mm -hmm. fire. We mm -hmm. have always had it. Um, I, I, in this modern world, we've been separated from it. We don't need it anymore necessarily. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a magic in that that simple torch, and and you know using the crucible and melting the glass and turning the glass into something else. I'm going off on a tangent now, but uh, I could talk about I could talk about what this is for a long time. Uh, so Sophie brought me into it, and we've been you know sharing ideas back and forth. Um, and, and then last year, maybe it's been about two years and I just dove in and I have not come back out yet. I really no, haven't. <laughs> Rachel has quite a few followers with what she has created here because she has taken something that is very ancient and made it very contemporary. Mm -hmm. And you did start with jewelry, like what you're wearing. Mm -hmm. But in this course, we will not be teaching about jewelry. You will not be teaching about jewelry because we have enough of that here at Mosaic Arts Online. And we wanted you really to express yourself with another way and depart from the jewelry. But it doesn't mean that what you teach here cannot be used for jewelry mm -hmm. in those elements, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. So mm -hmm. for those that maybe are more uh, unfamiliar,
familiar with Filati, you can explain a little bit of that. And then you make it look so effortless. Is this something that someone is new to these tools and all of these elements could really dive into? Absolutely. Um, you know, it, it takes a little bit of doing. It doesn't just happen just like that. My first um, thread, Filati translates into from the Italian into thread, uh, which I think is a beautiful word. Some yes. people call these stringers. I prefer the word thread. I think it's prettier. Uh, but my first thread was about that long. <laughs> And it was, I was a little embarrassed because Sophie was just pulling all these beautiful long and, you know, and mine was, it was that long. And, but, and it was frustrating because I hadn't gotten the feel for how the, the hot glass, there's a feel to it. There's a real, um, uh, tactile. I mean, it's a lot about feeling as much as it is about sight right. for this. Well, yeah. and similar to the hammer and the hardy, like yeah. it's that when you finally figure out <clears throat> that feeling and that mm -hmm. aha, mm -hmm. that it kind of happens and You'll see in this course that I had my first pull, and it was about that. It was longer than mine. Oh, barely, barely. <laughs> but it is definitely all about the practice and about yes. doing it over and over again. But it's one of those things, if you are going to invest in everything and you're going to set yourself up, you're not going to do it once. You're going to just, like you, become addicted and mm -hmm. just want to keep doing it over and over again. And you are someone that has literally had such a departure from the raw materials of your foraging off the earth and the river and and your <clears throat> red dog to, and this isn't blingy, but it is glass. Mm -hmm. And how does that feel for you? I wondered about that a good bit when I first really dove into it. And, and I, I just, I was feeling like I didn't want to stop. I just want to keep doing this. That's how I was feeling. And then I started really thinking about why, why do I want to keep doing this? And what I came up with was that, you know, the, the foraging and the, and the, the chopping of the rocks, and that's all about raw material mm -hmm. in my brain. I think about, you know, getting a hunk of stone stone and 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 transforming that hunk of stone into a big pile of tessera and in a way this is really the same thing mm -hmm. but the raw material here is smalty which is you know a cheeky way of saying raw material obviously smalty is not raw material right. it's a very specialized glass that that you know has been made for generations in very special factories you know in certain parts of the world mm -hmm. uh, recipes handed down through families and generations so it's not raw material but in this case, it is. And I think that's a big part of my attraction because I like starting things from scratch. You do, and the mm -hmm. transformation. So just so you all know, she goes from this roadie glass, which is broken kind of cast-offs from the Orsoni factory in Italy that we give you in the PDF, to firing it with the torch <clears> and a <throat> screwdriver, very few materials mm -hmm. and tools, and you end up watching her create these three rings. It is really simple. Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful. And I'd have to say it's really meditative. It is. It is. Yeah. The fire and um, the, like I said, that tactile nature of the whole thing. And then the actual making of the mosaic itself. Mm -hmm. it, it, that's, you know, maybe more meditative than the fire part. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's quiet. It, there's a freedom. Uh, you know, the epoxy sculpt is a very different adhesive than thin set. Uh, it's, it's well, frankly, it's just really easy. <laughs> it really is. It sucks you in. It sucks your filati in, and it, it you just keep wanting to sink more little um, little cylinders of glass into the into those um, beds of epoxy sculpt. You know, it's it's uh, <clears throat> addictive for sure. Well, if this isn't enough for you, <laughs> just so you know, Rachel also has Intuitive Mama Schiato 2.0 that once you've learned the rings and you get your practice, you will move on to something even more exciting. But you'll need to click over to that intro to see what that's all about. So I cannot thank you enough for coming mm. all this way mm. and doing this course with us. It really <clears throat> means a lot and it means a lot to me that you are able to get this out to the world now because I think it's really something special. Well, thank you for giving me the venue. I'm, uh, it's my pleasure. <laughs>